In this lesson, we're going to talk about objects. And in this case, objects are going to be frames that are filled with a color and a stroke that you can use for decorative boxes or circles or any design that you like to put text in or images. And they're very useful for design elements in your document. The way that you standardly create an object is to create a frame tool. And then the frame tool will give you the option of selecting the fill and the stroke color. So with the fill in the foreground, I'm going to go to my swatches and I'm going to choose red as my fill color. If I want to have a stroke or an outline on it, I'm going to go and check the stroke box and bring it to the front. When the stroke box is in the front, that means whatever color I pick from the swatches will be assigned to that stroke. Now it looks small because it's at default of one point. And in the control panel, you can see that you have the option to increase the size of your stroke. Right now it's at one point. You can choose a setting or you can choose to gradually increase it by clicking the up or down arrow. Choosing the up arrow increases the stroke. and You can increase it to the size you'd like till it works for you. You also have the option of an ellipse frame tool which creates circles. When creating a circle, sometimes it's difficult for you to get a perfect circle. So the secret is to hold the shift key while you're drawing a circle and it will draw a perfect circle in proportion for you. Again, you can choose the fill and stroke color for your circle by bringing the preferred box to the front, in this case the fill box, and choosing a color. Then you can bring the stroke to the front and choose a different color. And you can increase the stroke. If you do not want a stroke or a fill, in your swatches panel there's a none option. And by selecting none, it will create vacancy in the box that you have selected. Another way to create an object is to use the pencil tool. The pencil tool draws a path. So if I click and hold and then draw my design, notice that it fills with whatever the fill color is and strokes with whatever the stroke color is. And again, I can increase the stroke. That allows you to do a custom object to the design you'd like. Yet another way to design an object is to choose the pen tool. And I'm going to clear some space out so I can show you how the pen tool works. By choosing the pen tool, you're going to create some custom sized objects that allow you to design what you would like. And again, you can choose the fill color and the stroke color. And give it a stroke. Now this takes advantage of the fact that you're drawing a frame. Something with a stroke or a path that goes along the outside of it. And when it is closed, it will allow you to fill it with a color. Remember that when we place an object, such as an image, it creates a frame for that object. Now we can't apply a fill to it because there's an image in it. But what we can do is apply a stroke to it. For example, here we'll choose a red stroke and increase the size and this allows us to give a border 
to our image. You can also choose for your border in the control panel different options of your stroke. The default is solid but you can choose different combinations of thick and thin, three strokes, two strokes, multiple strokes, dashed lines, dotted lines, all these are available for you to choose to be the stroke that you like. And these are also scalable and it creates some interesting options for a frame. So those are the different methods for creating an object and frame strokes in InDesign. And it allows you to use your creativity to the fullest in giving you that many options.